To maximize test benefits, it is important to understand what the OVA-1 test results mean. When OVA-1 is ordered for a patient's pre-surgical workup, a panel of biomarkers is evaluated and a single numeric score on a scale of 0 to 10 is generated. For premenopausal women, a score of greater than or equal to 5 is associated with elevated risk for malignancy. The cutoff for elevated risk of malignancy is 4.4 in postmenopausal women. Let's look at data from Bristow et al. This study looked at the impact of OVA-1 on 494 patients who underwent surgery for a pelvic mass. The published clinical trial of using OVA-1 with clinical assessment reported that risk of malignancy below the cutoff was less than 1.4% in premenopausal women and less than 3.3% in postmenopausal women. In the subgroup above the cutoff, malignancy was more frequently identified in patients with higher OVA-1 scores. As shown in the graph from Bristow et al., those patients with scores of 9 to 10 were more frequently found to have cancer than those with scores of 5 to 6. While it is not predictive, understanding this background can be useful in patient counseling. When speaking with patients, it is helpful to share that adding OVA-1 to clinical assessment can detect more ovarian cancer from 74 to 96%. This means that fewer cancers are missed. The panel offsets limitations of any one biomarker alone. OVA-1 is highly sensitive in detecting stage 1 and 2 ovarian cancer and across ovarian cancer subtypes. On the other hand, when OVA-1 and your clinical workup agree that the patient is low risk, you have additional evidence to counsel your patient that the mass in question is likely benign as demonstrated by the negative predictive value of 98%. Now your conversation with patients can be personalized to minimize uncertainty and anxiety. Use OVA-1 today to help stratify malignancies to the appropriate care pathway. Sign up at AspiraLab.com for more information on how to order. Thank you for learning with Aspira Labs.